Jump. The perfect height. Awesome end to my my reign of badassery. There we go. Gotta aim everything correct. Shit. Okay, no worries. Right over this guy. The special door, huh? Oh shit, come on. Oh, she kidding me! God damn it! That's where this puzzle is. This level's all about... Gotta sh shoot it good so you can retrieve it! Ooh, this is a laborious level. They've been, they've been so short and sweet up until now. Same spot as before! I'm just getting impatient now. That's why I can never be a, a critic, like a professional critic. I just I just don't have the patience to play games so much. Just like after a while I'm just like, oh, I just wanna go read. I wonder if the, I wonder if I wonder about making them though. Maybe I'll learn a lot from this. I wonder what I gotta do to make them. Man, that I thought that's be a secret. That I can't get because I didn't get all those other places. That's exactly what was supposed to happen. Oh, <laughs> jeez. It is. And I'm going to find out right now. I'm going to go retrieve, retrieve it. Oh, I guarantee it was set up that way. That's pretty kick-ass design. It's like the only way to kill this guy is right now. And I'm going to make you kill him right now and then have to walk back. That's a fucking awesome design. That's really cool. Normally someone would be like, wait a second, and they would go down here and then realize it, but because I just, you know, haphazardly tossed it, then I found out that's, that was actually intention. Huh, what does that speak of the designer's personality, huh? Such emphasis on level design, huh? What does that speak of the designer's personality? Could you say, is, is there like a, a mean personality type for puzzle design puzzle puzzle game designers like if you are interested in designing puzzles do, do, does that mean you have a certain personality I wonder I wonder if I could actually write a book by just figuring by just doing this with enough game designers you know, the works of game designers I wonder if I could actually find out personality types that are shared by all by a certain type of game designer. So if he designs puzzles, the likelihood of, of him having this personality is very high. Okay, so because you do, like, to design a game, or design a level in a game, it requires a lot of iteration. You have to play, you have to come up with an initial design, right? And then you have to see if that design works by playing it. And then you, you work out all the bugs, and you decide, okay, well, this it was fun for this part. Like, for example, this level right here. Maybe some of these things, it, just, it didn't start out this way. He first made the level initial way, and he's like, yeah, I gotta change it a little bit here. If I put a snake right up here, it'll be a little bit more difficult. If I have, if I have this little stalactite right here, it'll make that jump extra difficult. So you go through a lot of iteration, right? A lot of repetition. Now I gotta go through the whole thing again. Right there, he's like, I'm gonna make him go through the whole thing again. <laughs> like, maybe a game designer, or level designer, or both, or they all have like a, there's a certain joy they get out of seeing people suffer. And, Cause think about it, that goes along, that goes on really well with my research about failure. You know, games are like the art of failure. And so a game that is successful is one that has its game, has its player fail, but does it in a really enjoyable way. And so if you want to be a really successful game designer, you must, to some extent, really enjoy seeing people fail. That speaks of one, one type of personality, semi-sadistic, but then you want to, you don't want to just see them fail, period. You want to see them fail, but eventually pass. So yeah, it's a semi-sadistic, but then lovely personality, because in the end, you want, them, you want them to be happy, right? Oh, I gotta kill this guy from here. Okay, that's good though, because I, I can probably get that and not die. Shh, no, I can't get that. I will die for sure if I try. Uh, uh, 
I knew it! Okay, so 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 far we got two personalities. Uh, someone that likes to likes to see people fail, but then eventually provide an opportunity for them to to win. Okay, that's one personality. Second personality. Um, someone who likes repetition a lot because of all the iteration that goes on when designing a really good level. You know, you you have to enjoy to some to some extent repeat, repetitively playing your game. Like it almost is like it's, it's just your baby now. Like you know it so well inside and out, type of thing. Like you you have to enjoy that feeling to some extent to be able to enjoy making a game because you have to find out where all the got it. <laughs> find out where all the loops are, all the, all the all the problems you have to fix. That level is kind of hard. Come on, that level is kind of hard. This level seems impossible. Holy mother fucker. This is ridiculous. I gotta kill them all with this one pistol. One shot. <laughs> Some of these levels are getting really, really intense. Oh, look at all these bats! I'm so screwed! Okay, gather them in one spot. This is... That's not how you do it. Jeez. Gather them in one spot. Okay, wait here. Throw up. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, uh. God damn! This is like the last level, it feels like. Get him. Ugh. This is impossible! How am I not hitting? Okay, strategy. Strategy. Okay, there we go! Ah! Oh my god, it's so freaking hard. I almost had I can't believe I died that one time. That was mine. For the taking. Ho ho ho! Oh if I die right now. Oh that's what I wanted. At the very end of the cavern, I came across the crown, but something else also shimmers in the darkness. The next boss. Fuck. That guy! He's freaking huge! I gotta be quick! Ah! That guy! Come on up there! God damn it! Oh. oh man! As I sit and hold the crown, I sense the dwindling echo of a once great power. I'm reluctant to wear a fearless waist to lead those strength it has left to me that slipped their tongues at me this time in a new direction. Twist the key. There's still more. Ah. Ah, uh, man, I'll have to come back to that one. The crown continues to invade my thoughts, begging me, urging me, desperately trying to convince me to wear it. I have memories now of killing a great ruler? I know these memories are not my own. They are of the owner of the crown! Oh, we got projectile throwing enemies now. Oh, shit. Whoa! I, I can almost get it! The Olympian! Shit, you gotta freaking... You gotta throw it so it hits this island. 
Uh, I'm, I'm hearing it hit. I can hear in the background. Is that just hitting like the the dead the death of the screen or something? Because I know I can't catch it. Or can I? Yeah, see it hit something. So yeah, see it stops there. That's like an invisible piece of ground or something. What the hell is this? I almost got it! Marsh! Die! Shy! If you follow the arrow, you know exactly. Die! Come on. Yeah! <laughs> Must! Come on. Don't be on this side. God, why am I hitting this? Side again. I already know. I already know it. Oh! I got it! Yeah! Oh man, not these guys again. Last second. BAM! <laughs> I shall hit now, and then jump! Oh, that's a cool strategy. Look at this goddamn level! Jeez! Got little caverns here. Make it impossible to freaking kill these guys. Unless I do some freaking miracle like that. Man. Wasn't that bad, actually. Still, I'm gonna die by this one. I know it! I'm gonna mess up here. I know it! Yes! That, that, no, no, I don't care. That was not easy. I don't care if it looked like it was easy. Okay, I'm a little confused about this one. So I gotta kill these two bats, I guess, without... Okay. This is gonna be kinda hard. What? There's more! This is kind of hard, but it's cool. Jump, kill! Jump, kill! No, nope, jump and be killed. Jump, kill! Jump, kill! More. Jump, kill! Jump, kill! Yeah! That was kind of hard. How hard this is going to be. That... Silly me. Silly me. Oh. Wrong guy! Ah! Whoa! That guy's fast! Fast! I'm, what? I keep throwing it down that way! Fucking losing it. I am. He is an evil, sadistic, mal malevolent person who enjoys seeing, providing painful experiences to people. The amount of time that he had, that he spent to make these levels the way they are, 
the only way you could justify spending that much time is if you do find joy in seeing people suffer. Because remember, he play tests them. He sees people scream, and he's like, mm, that scream is just the right pitch. That tells me this level is has just the right amount of suffering and pain in it. I'm lucky that I enjoy pain and suffering, and that I will probably come back and play this game when I need that fix. But until then, I'm moving on. <laughs>